everybody, I'm Bunny B and I am back. So today I've created this wonderful makeup just because of one lipstick. Oh yeah, can you believe that? The lipstick is this one out here. It's called Top with Brandy and it's from MAC. It's a very dark brown color that uh, just inspired me to create this makeup. So if you're really interested to see how I created the makeup and if you're curious to see what kind of products I use, then please keep on watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. It would really mean a lot for me if you could do that. Also, if you would like to get notified every time I post a new video, don't forget to click the notification bell. I, I really want to say thank you to all of you guys and um, all your feedback has been awesome. I actually posted this uh, look a few weeks ago and everybody actually gave me really good compliments about that. So thank you very much for that. So what do you think if we start now? <laughs> to start with this makeup, I always recommend you guys to start using a primer. The primer that I tend to use most of the time is just to kind of reduce my pores. It's a pore minimizer primer and the one that I'm going to be using is the one from Smashbox. This one is Photo Finish Primer from Smashbox. This is the consistency for this primer. It's kind of very creamy. So I'm going to start applying this one in the areas that I want to see improvement. I'm just so excited. I'm gonna start using this other foundation. So as you know, I always tend to use one specific foundation because once I find the color that really suits my skin, I, I basically stick to it because I really like the way I look with it. But now I wanted to kind of try other brands and other foundations and so I risk myself and I bought this one from Too Faced. It's called Burn This Way. I actually hope this is my color. It seems like it when I try it, when I bought it. So I love the packaging. It's it's in glass and it looks very classic. It's just beautiful. But I just want to try it now and let's see how it goes. So this is the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. It comes with this system that I actually like very much. So I'm going to apply two pumps and see, it just smells like foundation. So and see how it goes. Honestly, I actually think that two pumps was too much. I'm still having a lot of product in here, so next time I will try with only one. Now that I'm thinking, I probably should start it with the eyes, but I always tend to forget that. So, this is a really bad example, but usually you should start with um, your eye makeup, and then after that, you prep your face. That's the kind of way you should actually do it, but I tend to really get excited with the foundation and the prepping part of my face, so next time. <laughs> That's actually nice because I am a normal person and people make mistakes and we tend to really do the things that we like first. I just forgot to say the concealer that I'm actually using is the wake me up concealer from Rimmel this is the concealer that I really like to use most of the time probably you've seen it in previous videos it really uh, suits my skin it's a tone lighter I think from my skin and that actually will give me the light that I need in my eyes my eyes tend to be a little bit darker usually other bits that I want to highlight is just this one here <laughs> So 
I'm not gonna get too excited with the prepping part of it because maybe some eyeshadows may fall out so I'm gonna have to kind of polish that a little bit again but let's just apply now the loose powder which is gonna allow me to set this foundation and the concealer already so for loose powder as you know I'm gonna be using this floor mark powder this one has a bit of color so I always recommend to you guys that if you want to use a uh, loose powder that has color in it to make sure that it actually matches your skin tone um, or you can also use translucent powder which is um, the white ones that you tend to see in the market They're, those are actually very good too so we'll apply the powder Because now I'm gonna proceed to start doing my eye makeup I'm gonna apply more powder around this area just in case some eyeshadow fall out I can just be very quickly just remove it and you can actually see well how this color is changing my makeup completely but that's gonna go away remember this powder has some color in it so that's why it looks like that for this eye makeup look I'm gonna start using different eyeshadows from different brands so I'm gonna use some colors and some eyeshadows from this beautiful palette from Too Faced it's called the sweet peach palette and also I'm going to be using some other eyeshadow colors from MAC. So I created this set of four colors from MAC. You have orange, a dark brown, a blue color and a grey one. But those are sets that you can build yourself based on the colors that you like in MAC. So I just actually built this one myself with those four colors. So let's just start. <laughs> so initially just to kind of add some dimension to the eye, I'm going to start using this Pure. And with a thick brush, I'm going to start building that up into my eye. <music> this smells so good. <sighs> I love it. to be patient and we need to blend the color out so that way the look of the eye will look more smooth and natural so just to give some radiance I'm gonna be using this orange color on top of the eyeshadow that we just applied into the eye that I have here I'm gonna start applying that in my inner corner just to kind of start adding a uh, dimension and that darkness that I need in the eye
with the other brush where I have the orange and I'm gonna actually blend it out a little bit just to kind of create a fusion with the colors that I have already applied in my eye. Now I'm gonna apply this peaches and cream in the middle of my eye, this section out here, to create more light into the look that we're creating. light into it I'm gonna play a little bit of white peach again in the middle of my eye With a very thin uh, brush I'm gonna add this nectar color in the inner corner of the eye. how beautiful those eyeshadows are. So now I'm going to apply a little bit of Temptim in the outer corner of my eye to kind of give it a final touch in terms of the dimension. I want it darker. <music> Touch of pure. Just a tiny little bit. like it very much. So I'm now gonna clean the fallout in my eyes, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then after that we can actually keep going with the makeup. So I've done already my eyebrows and if you're interested to see how I usually do my eyebrows and also get some tips of how to do with those annoying hairs when you when they're just growing and they change the shape of your eyebrows so yeah if you're interested to see that there is the link for that now the the product that i use this time is this eyeliner from revlon is in the color soft brown and it actually looks uh, quite soft and natural in my eyebrows and um, i didn't really wanted to use a darker color because we already have a quite heavy makeup well it's not really heavy but still we're we're mixing some natural and kind of brown colors with dark ones so i really didn't want it my eye look to kind of fight against the eyebrow so i just wanted to create a good composition of colors so let's do now the 
down part of the eye. So for the down part of the eye, I'm gonna start with puree. I'm gonna start adding some dimension around this area. <music> So then with a very, a very thin brush, I'm going to add some of this tempting one in the outer corner. some peaches and cream in the middle some white peach and finally some nectar just blend it out I'm gonna add some of this orange that I initially added into the eye um, to kind of provide more dimension and, and help blend in those colors out. some black eyeliner and for that I'm going to be using this Revlon eyeliner color black just to give some strength into the into this look Makeup, I'm just gonna now uh, finalize the rest of the face and for that I'm gonna apply a new bronzer and the bronzer that I'm gonna use is the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. So I'm actually using the Complexionista palette. It's a contouring palette, very good. I really like it. Perhaps I should do a tutorial really soon about it. I really like this. So um, you have like Hula Light and Hula Bronzer. I'm actually be using the bronzer this time. This bronzer is quite nice. difference it makes isn't it for blush I'm gonna be using the peach color for number seven this is the one I have it's a little bit used already as you can see but it has a beautiful peach color in it that I I find to be giving me the look that I need and the color I need for my cheeks so this is the one that I'm gonna be applying popping the product in your skin <laughs> you need to be patient because if you add a lot of it maybe it's just too much product and then it's harder for you to get rid of it once it's in your ticks <laughs> So the final touch, I'm going to be using this champagne highlighter from um, Primark. And this is a beautiful color as you can see. So let's see how it goes with this look. Again, in a very subtle matter, 
tiny little bit and see how it goes. <music> Now I promise, final touch. I'm gonna be using mascara. I mean, you know, you need mascara for just to finish this look in your eyes. So the one that I'm gonna be using for this is nothing better than, better than sex mascara. Oh yeah. So this is the one I'm gonna be using for this. <laughs> that I'm using at the moment it's basically the reason of why I have created this makeup I fall in love with this lipstick as soon as I saw it in MAC this is a matte liquid lipstick from MAC and it's called top with brandy it actually is a very dark brown tone but it's beautiful and it's basically the reason of why this makeup has been created so with those sort of lipsticks you really need to be very precise when you apply this one into your lips and um, just to make sure that the the line of your lips are precise and everything goes smooth and fine so that's it this is very this is basically the makeup that I've created for you guys today I really wanted to share this makeup with you I actually received a lot of really good compliments and feedback from you guys I really appreciate that if you really like the makeup that you're saying just please give me a thumbs up and let's be friends you can always find me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter by typing on eBay Ray if you also get adventurous and maybe one day you just decide that you want to do any of the makeups that I've created in the past just please also tag me in them so I can actually see them by using the hashtag on eBay Ray so this is a really good makeup that you can use on a night time or for a special event but also this lipstick goes very well for a daytime but if you think that it's too dark or maybe there's a lot of color you can always use another look that I created in the past for Valentine's Day the link is out there so if you are interested to get a more natural look then probably you would be able to use that one instead with the same lipstick this lipstick will go very well with very natural looks as well as those ones here I really hope that you guys like this video and thank you very much see you next time